Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is episode four of my Houseman Spotlight series. I recently took a trip to South Carolina to go to the UKC World Curse Squirrel Hunt, and I was gonna ride down with Alan Franklin and Garrett Shad. I left my place around Wednesday morning at four, drove to Alan Franklin's house, and then we headed down to South Carolina from there. So this is episode four of my Houseman Spotlight series, but it's gonna be like a three-part video series with the first one being this one, and then the next one being the UKC Dog of the Year hunt, and the third one being the UKC World Squirrel hunt. So hope you enjoy this video and we all learned something from this trip. It was a really great time and I got to meet some really great people. I was gone from Wednesday morning until Sunday afternoon, and I filmed the whole thing, so it was a pretty fun trip. And there's a lot of videos to come from that trip. I hope you enjoy it and feel like you're tagging along, get to experience it with us all. So as always, thanks for watching and hope you enjoy this episode of my Huntsman Spotlight series featuring Alan Franklin. Alright guys, I finally made it to South Carolina. I'm staying with Danny Nichols and his family, so I'm gonna get to bed here pretty quick. It's about 10 o'clock tonight. I left my house at 4 o'clock this morning, so I'm pretty tired. And the plan for tomorrow, we're gonna get up about 7 o'clock tomorrow and head to the woods around 8 and do a little squirrel hunting. Well, I got up, took a shower, got all cleaned up. I'm dressed and ready to go now. We're gonna head out and go treat some squirrels. So how long have you been hunting with dogs? With dogs or with cur dogs? Just dogs in general. Since I've been born, I don't know. Since ever since I've been going with my dad, ever since I've been big enough to uh, to walk, I used to hold them in pants loop. And he'd pull me up the hills when we was coon hunting. <laughs> did you say that you had English dogs? Yeah, I saw that deer up there. Yeah, we did. We had uh, my dad always. We we had a few other dogs, but yeah, my dad mostly. Hunted English dogs my whole life. That's what we had was English dogs. And when did you start hunting cur dogs? Probably like in 1985 or 84. I probably got my first cur dog. What was that? It was a Tooch Dale and out of Tooch, out of George Tooch's dog. Uh, I called him Blue Ghost. Uh, bought him from Jim Hatcher, and that was my first original mountain cur that I ever owned. So when did you get Thunder? I think 1992. 92, and who'd you get him from? Uh, Kenny Smith, which is Ralph Smith, but Kenny Smith is what we all call him. How old was he when you got him? Uh, three or four. Had he been competition on it at all before that? I think or? Kenny, yeah, Kenny had competition on him a little bit. Yeah, this is probably gonna be hard to remember, but do you remember most of the big hunts you won with him? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a while ago. And there's a lot I know. of them. We won, we won the, the WTDA World Hunt with him. We won the state hunt, Ohio State Hunt, New York State Hunt, Preserve Michigan State Hunt. Um, I didn't travel a whole bunch back then because I was just kind of getting into the competition hunting. And 
we mostly went in like Ohio and Pennsylvania. Uh, that's mostly the places we had, but there was tons of hunts in Ohio back then. I mean, yeah. heck, we had like nine or ten hunts at our at our club a year, and then uh, what? The Loudons always had hunts down there. Oh yeah, Thunder won the West Virginia State hunt, but uh, uh, we just we didn't travel very much back in those days. How many World Championships did he win? Just the the one or? Thunder, yeah, Thunder just won one. One? Yep. And then, what are some of the big name dogs that you had out of him? Oh, like we had, uh, we had Kane and King Bud and, I'm sorry, back up there, I was, thought, I was Thunder Sport. Out of Thunder, we had uh, Lone Ranger, uh, World Champion, T&W Tugger, uh, there was tons of them. I need to look in my book to see what all we had. Do you know how many world champions you've had out of since you started getting into curves? Everything all together, probably like I think like 22 or 23. Yeah. So you had Thunder and then Thunder Sport. Yep. Uh, who was Thunder Sport's mom? Uh, Jukebox Nini. Okay. Is that probably your favorite outcross with your Thunder Dogs is a jukebox dog? Oh yeah, for sure. And then what are some of the, you said Thunder Sport, and then what are some of the dogs out of him? Did yeah. you, that was, you said you got four generations now? Five generations. Five generations? Uh, and that was, out of Thunder Sport I would have like, I would have Kane and King Bud and... And then is Ra was Razor out of Thunder Sport? No, Razor's double Thunder Sport. Razor's out of King Bud and Thunder Sport's Brandy. And he's your probably your current stud dog you're using the most right yep and you're gonna be hunting are you handling him or is no your, i'm gonna hunt you're uh, handling trickster and I'm then your handler so what's trickster out of trickster is out of uh, duck creek razor and little babe which is a jukebox thunder sport team. so have you noticed over the years a certain way of starting the pups that seems to work the best with your line of dogs other than what you said of just taking them to the woods and turn them loose I mean, yeah I mean that's like that's one of the, the best is just like exposing them to to the game uh, the easiest way and my most favorite way is like give it to an Amish boy and let him let get him. it started and then get him back yeah just let them run I mean, on the it's farm. a good yes and it, that's what it is that's what they let them run loose and they run around on the farm and play with the kids and tree groundhogs and squirrels and coons and they do all that stuff and where I live I just can't do that so that's why uh, that's why we do that but I have got a, a training pen built now uh, in the process of almost being built where I can be able to let my puppy run in there and trees on and do some stuff like that so Did the video work this morning? Yep. Oh. There. Mm -hmm. I got one. I like that. I just got mine. Dog in. Dog in. Shot her. She's really, 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 really a lot of that mixed together, <laughs> isn't she? I like it. I like her a whole lot. Hey, you know what's going to be the interesting part? Oh, Ray, Trister's up here. Thank you. 
Exactly! <laughs> Four thirty, gonna head back out to the woods now. Out of all the dogs you've had, which one's your favorite dog? Oh, Thundersport. Okay, I, th I thought it would be more tough than that. But. That was no tough. That's my. He liked me the best, and he did everything for me, and me only. I mean, I, we were like best buds. Uh, what about your favorite female you've ever had? Um. Different ones I really like. Probably one of my most favorite one and best ones. Nobody even ever heard of is my my old Carla dog. Oh yeah. Uh, that's kind of me and my dad bought her at the beginning, right after I bought Thunder. She was the, by far the best combo dog I ever owned. Yeah, probably the one everybody knows. Probably Candy Jewel. Yeah. I've had, I've had some females that, I'm, I'm not a female person, so uh, I never like, like none of them like I did Thundersport and Thunder and Pain yeah. and Bug. That's just not me. But. Yeah, I just want to ask you something that I thought the first one was going to be a little more difficult than what no, it was. That's, a, I, I tell, <laughs> that's the thing I tell everybody. Yeah. I like Thundersport. Uh, right now, do you have a preference Squirrel hunting versus coon hunting. Squirrel hunting. Has it always been that way with you, or? No, probably. I really used to really like coon hunting. And it makes it really inconvenient right now because my job. I get up at 4:30 in the morning to go to yeah. work, and I work 10 hour, 10 hour days. <laughs> I guess it's... maybe I'm not as tough as I used to be. <laughs> so, uh, you know, hunting till midnight and getting up at 4:30 kind of stinks. So. Yeah, especially like in the summertime when yep. it gets dark so late. Yep. What was your, probably like the favorite thing you liked about the curs when you started getting into them? Because you said you started off with English dogs with your dad and hounds and stuff. Yeah. When you got when you got into curs, what was the thing you liked the most? Probably the control part of them. Um, we kind of, when we switched over, probably kind of when the hounds started getting more competition hounds. I mean, actually, my dad's old English dogs were just like my curs. I mean, hunt 30 minutes. If they weren't back in 30 minutes, they were treed somewhere, you know. Yeah. And we couldn't find them no more. We went and bought a couple English dogs, and they would hunt, like, to the end of the earth to find a coon. I mean, they were coon dogs, but uh, they would just go and go and go and go. And the first cur dogs I had probably... Three, four hundred yards was pretty far for them to hunt. So yeah. we would catch a lot of coon because uh, I didn't mind walking, getting out and walking and getting through the woods and and they stayed with you. It wasn't like you were looking for them. We didn't have trackers back then. Yeah, that so, makes a difference. <laughs> you know, uh, you walk to the right hill, and when you get on top of that hill, you hear the hound treat on the left hill, and it's like, holy cow, like we get a walk, so the curves weren't that way, you know. Yeah. Uh, they were like you could control where you hunted at did a little more walking but you know they were always within reason of being treated and, and we treat a lot of coon I mean, we really did treat a lot of coon with the first the first mountain curves we had i coon hunted more than i squirrel hunted do you have a preference when you're starting a pup if you're going to start it on squirrels or coon or i just always like to do them on squirrels most of my good coon dogs i never coon hunt them until they're a couple years old until they're doing good on squirrel right. probably and that doesn't mean that's always the right way that's just kind of the way i kind of like did it uh, truly mostly i didn't even uh i didn't coon hunt them too much until after i won what hunts i wanted to win with squirrel one now so i mean right or wrong or preference that's just the way i did it Come here, bud. Hey, right here. Come here. Why are you doing for it, honey? Okay. Come on. Shoot. 
Excuse me, guys. Did you treat your dog? He's been in the water. Yep. You know her, but I bet that's where. The, I bet he was out there on that tree. Yep. Goes up into the cross. See, his, see where that bark is right there on that tree? That's yeah, all. I bet you fifty bucks he saw her. He wouldn't have went out in there. Oh, 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 I don't think we'll be able to cross that. You don't think? Let's go, bud. Go, come on. Come on. Well, that's the way you normally shoot. Ready? He's treated again. Yeah. trees right now would be hard to hear 250 over that hill and that creek's running pretty good mouth though he does he's got a great pretty mouth good. one of the better mouths of my dogs stuff right there no huh well, it be in the but there's one got it marked mm -hmm. well my truck yeah is, is in there your truck would be running on it i have no clue where mine is here's the only got thing on this uber on. service Hey, we did get two, kind of two. So I get messages all the time from people asking for a breeder or where to get a cur puppy from. You said your mate stud dog was Duck Creek Razor. Do you have any current litters out of him or? Um, I do, I have a couple. I've got a litter out of uh, my Cadillac female, uh, which is out of Blackjack and Maggie May. And then I have a double Thundersport bred female I caught her name's Dixie, but I call her Red Dixie because I've got another female called Dixie, so it's, it's Red Dixie. Uh, actually, uh, they're due any time. Uh, I probably won't have any puppies out of them because I'm guessing I'll have them all, they're all spoken for, unless they would have like a tremendous amount. So I've pretty much got most of them sold. Uh, most of my puppies are usually booked before they're born. Uh, you know, if you're interested in a puppy or whatever, good thing to do would be uh, Give me a call and get on my list, and then that way we can try to get you a puppy whenever we can. I don't have too many litters a year, uh, but what I do have, I try to have like out of really good females in, in my razor dog. Don't know what you're saying. I'm just like. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Jag är bara på Hole up there, dentry. Yeah, that's like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.